Welcome back. How do I use Text Wrangler to sort and eliminate duplicates in a set of data? Okay, you might be thinking, well, why would I want to do this? Well, first of all, let me start with the problem here. Um, in the last screencast, I showed you, you know, um, how we could put together the sums of, say, something very specific. I wanted to look up the program Showcase Domestic uh, in here. And um, what if I wanted to do that with all the programs? Okay. Um, the problem is I don't actually currently have a list of all the programs. And what's the fastest way to get that? Okay, there's a number of different ways we could approach this. What would you do? Okay, um, some ideas, some people might say, okay, what well, I'd sort it and then I would just copy and paste. And yeah, you could do it that way. Let me show you a super fast way to get the individual program names out of here. Okay, there's probably others too, uh, but you got to use, you know, the method that is most intuitive to you and that's fastest to you. I love to use Text Wrangler. Text Wrangler um, is just a plain text editor, but it's got a lot of really nice features. It's actually mostly used for for writing code, um, but because of some of the uh, the text processing features it has in it, it's also really useful for cleaning up data, I find, when you just have to do really quick things. I also like it because Text Wrangler is free, and it's free to download and use. It's available for, it's for Mac only, um, but if you want, if you're on a PC, you could try downloading a program called Notepad++ that has most of the same features. It won't necessarily be organized under the same menu structure, um, but most of these data uh, or uh, text um, editors have the same types of uh, text editing and text uh, processing features. Let me show you what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm not even going to bother sorting this because I'm going to show you the magic that is uh, Text Wrangler. I'm just going to select all of the program names. I don't care if there's duplicates in here because we're going to let Text Wrangler deal with that. Okay. Um, these are all of the programs that we have here. I've just hit Command C just to copy that. I'm going to move back over to Text Wrangler and just going to paste that. And so here's my list. Um, you can actually see I actually have line numbers turned on here. If you don't have them on, you can turn them on by just clicking on on the uh, the T button and turning your line numbers on. And we can see this is nice because it allows me to verify that there are actually 1643, 1643 uh, records were copied here. If I go back here, that makes perfect sense because my first line here is the, the kind of the header line, okay, and the index line, and then I've got 1644, 1644 minus one is 1643. Bonus, okay, that's great. So that means that we got everything, we got all the data. All right. Um, what do I want to do? Okay, remember in the in the previous like a few minutes ago I mentioned that you might want to try sorting. Let's see if we can do that. We can actually go to text and sort lines. Okay, and uh, in this case I want numbers matched by value. Sure, sorted lines replace selection. Don't worry about the rest of these. Okay, just as long as these two are selected, I'm going to click sort. And here's all my programs. Okay, so I can get a sense that we've got business development, we've got business travel, we've got collective digital marketing and you know you might think this is enough but you know I don't want to have to st I'm still gonna have to cut and paste each individual one I don't want to have to do that okay it would be really nice if we could eliminate all these duplicates in text wrangler there's a way to do this automatically I'm gonna select all I'm gonna select everything just did a command a there to select everything I'm gonna go back to the text menu and here there's a really great command here called process duplicate lines what do you think this does I'll give you a big hint. <laughs> What's the problem we were trying to solve? We were trying to eliminate these duplicate lines. Let's select that and see what we have. We've got a couple options to choose here. Leaving one, that basically means that it's going to process these lines and it's going to leave just one duplicate or one of the duplicates. It's going to look at all the duplicates and just leave one of them, which is exactly what we want. And then what is it going to do with those duplicate lines? The rest of them, it's going to delete them. So I just want leaving one, delete duplicate lines. Everything else can stay. Let's go ahead and click the process button. Boom! Look at that! Isn't that great? And so that just saved us a ton of time. And that took longer than it had to because I was gabbing the whole time. You can imagine that if you're fast at this, that would have taken you, what, seven seconds? Okay. Um, I'm going to select all of this. Check out what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go back over here to LibreOffice. I'm going to switch over to my totals. Can you guess what I'm going to do? Yeah, I'm going to put my cursor right here. I'm going to hit Command V for paste, and that's going to paste all of those those names, all of those things in just plain text, which is great because we were just in a text editor. So we're just going to paste that down. OK, and I'm going to just double click there and notice that this number changed. But that makes perfect sense, right? Because now it's referencing 
this a1 business development and it tells us that the total the sum if function is now telling us that the total amount of money that was offered from the business development program was six hundred sixty seven thousand four hundred and forty four uh, dollars um, and I'm sure you can see how that's very useful right right um, I'm gonna leave it at that for now I'm gonna try to get you to guess what the next step is going to be um, but hopefully you see the usefulness of this being able to put together a list very very quickly of all the programs uh, from this which otherwise would have been just a pain to have to go through that okay so there we have it okay hopefully that's a really kind of neat a data hack using LibreOffice uh, in combination with this free little program, this text wrangler program. Very, very useful thing. So add that to your arsenal. Okay, um, that's all there is for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.